Hoppy New Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Manoli Barris, and welcome to Tuesday. That's going to take some getting used to. Let's dive right into our middle school update. Take it away, Mr. Keller. Thank you, and welcome everyone to the second episode of HMS Today. Thanks to Mr. Cousins and the HMS TV crew for their efforts to make this weekly newscast for us. Last week, we welcomed Yoko Kamoshima Watkins to HMS, and all grade 7 students have the opportunity to hear her story. Thank you to Mrs. Norby and the grade 7 teachers for hosting and making Yoko a part of HMS. Today's the deadline for signing up your team and submitting payment for our flag football tournament next week. Don't forget to get that in. On Friday, it's our annual grade 6 kids night out. We hope you can make it here for an exciting night of fun. Speaking of fun, we hope that you can join us Wednesday, October 19th for our first ever harvest party. For those grade 8 students who joined us for their courtyard party, you know how much fun that can be. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Keller. Next up, we're bringing you a new club interview. This time, we went and visited the Ultimate Fandom Club. This club has started out as the Explore Pottermore Club back in 2011, and has involved in the Ultimate Fandom Club. So I'm Mrs. O'Connell, and I have been advising the Ultimate Fandom Club for several years now, and we do a bunch of fun different, different activities. Um, we always do a Yule Ball around uh, the holiday season in December, uh, which is kind of inspired by the world of Harry Potter. Uh, we decorate the classroom, and we put candles around, and um, bring in different desserts inspired by uh, the movie movies and the books. Um, we also do a movie night, uh, usually in March. Uh, we usually vote on the movie we want to watch. Last year we watched Spirited Away. Um, so this year we'll see what people uh, vote for. And then at the end of the year we do a little cosplay ball where people come in costume and we have kind of a little year end party. So we do a lot of different activities throughout the year and um, we have a lot of fun doing those things together. The mission of this club is to basically make friends and talk about pop culture. To join the club, you just have to show up um, on Wednesdays. This club is not only fun, but it's entertaining, too. There's a bunch of people in the club that are actually super funny. See, if you like the Ultimate Fandom Club, there's a lot of different interests uh, that we have. People are into anime, people are into cosplay, people are into Harry Potter and Star Wars and Star Trek, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, so uh, it's a fun group. It's a place uh, where people can get together with uh, students that have other common interests, and it's a judgment-free zone. We have a good time. So, just wondering, what do you call a fan of the Ultimate Fandom Club? Hmm, all right. Now we're moving into this week's fun fact with Mr. Rockwood. I call it that because I don't know he's going to name it yet, so here we go. Welcome, and good morning to today's segment of, well, that's just it. We don't have the name yet because some wonderful suggestions are still coming in, and I've yet to review them all. If you have one, please send it in. I'll be glad to take a look at it, and we'll have a new name for our segment in an upcoming segment. But wasn't it great having yesterday off? And you're going to have tomorrow off, too. Today is Terrific Tuesday. Did you know that being sinophobic means having an irrational fear of dogs? Make it a great day. Be sure to show kindness to someone. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Rockwood. And now we have our always super popular question, the question of the day, where this week we asked, what isn't there an app for yet? Bob the Dab app. I feel like they should make an app for an NHL game, like they have Madden Mobile and NBA Live. They should make an NHL app. An engineering app. An ice cream delivery service. And I don't think that there's been an app created yet for people coming back from the bathroom and not washing their hands. The water bottle flipping app. Wait, they already invented it. For a website that hates on Pokemon Go. Food. A mind reading yeah, app. Yeah, they don't have a mind reader app. <laughs> there aren't any. HMS today. Everything in your house. Crocs! For how to give yourself a haircut. A Crocs app! <laughs> Water bottle flipping, oh yeah! Aaron Hernandez live. They don't have an HMS TV app, which they should so make. All right, and by the way, if you see Gabby Siri and Yasutora E2, wish them a happy birthday today. And since we have no school tomorrow, happy early birthday to Gabriela Samuduviev. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. And now, let's hear our other fun segment, Have You Seen This? Last week, we got two correct answers, so congratulations to Jessica Ehrlich and Vivian Yee. Oh my gosh, that dog is so cute. Anyway, you guys can stop by after school to pick up your wonderful prizes. For the rest of you, this is a photo somewhere in the school. 
Have you seen this? Send an email telling us where this prize is and you could be our next winner. Good luck! That's a wrap for this episode. Check us out on hcam.tv slash hmstv or send us comments, suggestions, and have you seen this entries and complaints to our email, hmstv at hillers.org. On behalf of everyone here, we'll see you next week with more stuff. Get out there and study hard. Welcome back to HMS 2D. To, ah, wait, I forgot to say my name. I'm terrible at this. Deliver your suggestions to Mr. Rockwood in room 22 for a new name for... Two, didn't I say 222? Obviously, I forgot, to, I forgot to have an ending, apparently. Welcome to Tuesday. That's going to take something to get used to. All right, wait, I'm starting over. I can't do fun fact. It's like... And now we have our soup years. Soup year? Sorry, Mr. Jim, we are missing yourself. <laughs>